hi. So, it's been a while. It's Reading Rush 2019, very excited. I was planning on posting my TBR video like two weeks ago, and then, you know, because I am the master of procrastination, it's the first day of the readathon and I still haven't posted my TBR, so. That's what this video is today. I haven't really done any reading except for my one of my books. I've read like 20 some pages, but you know, it's fine. It, 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 you know, it, it might be 148, but it's fine. You know, it's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> I'm also gonna do the video challenge in this video. So procrastination failures aside, let's just get on with the TBR. So the first challenge is to read a book with a purple cover, and for that one I am going with the only purple covered book I could find, and that is um, Welcome to Night Vale by Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Craner. This is a book that is adapted from the podcast of the same name. I'm a huge fan of the Welcome to Night Vale podcast. I've been listening to it since I was in like fifth grade. It's one of my favorite things in the entire world. I love it so much. I bought it like when it first came out because, you know, I was very excited and then I saw this copy at one of my local bookstores and it was signed and I was like, I need it. And then I never read it because that's the story of my life. Welcome to Night Vale. Purple cover. Check. Okay, so second book is Read a Book in the Same Place. For this one, I'm doing Every Explicit Thing by Matthew Quick. This is the only book I've started, and I am on page 24. I was right. 24 pages. I've read 24 pages, and it's the first day is already halfway over. It's fine. So Every Explicit Thing is by the same guy who wrote A Silver Linings Playbook, which is one of my favorite movies. I haven't actually read the book. Shame on me, but it's fine. Um, you know, that's just the motto of today's video. It's fine. Everything is fine. I've only read 24 pages of this, but um, so far I really, really like it, and the place that I'm reading it is where I'm sitting right now. It's just where I film my videos because I was sitting here waiting for my camera to charge and then I picked it up and I was like well guess I'm reading it all here now. This is about a girl who is kind of learning to rebel and sort of learning what the consequences are of rebellion and I already really love this book. I know it's gonna be one of my favorite books I've read this year. Not that I've read too many books this year. We, we, we've been struggling on the reading front but it's fine. But I've already decided that I love this book and I'm very excited to finish it. So challenge number three is to read a book that you meant to read last year. Now if that would just be pretty much every book on my bookshelf so I kind of narrowed it down to read a book that I meant to read last year for the Booktubeathon slash Reading Rush. I only posted two videos for Booktubeathon last year, or Reading Rush last year. I did the TBR, and I did the first day, and I continue to read, I just stopped posting videos. <laughs> Story of my life. I meant to read The Silence of Six by E.C. Meyer, but I just never got around to it. I did do okay in the Booktubeathon last year. I think I read like four books. This wasn't one of them. And it pretty much just sat in a pile along with the other unread books from Booktubeathon for a year and now I'm picking it up again and hopefully we'll read it. I don't... Can you tell I'm like already mildly stressed out? Because it's so much procrastinating. It's fine! So challenge numero four is to read an author's debut book. And for that one I'm doing Enchanté by Gita Tre Trevi Trevi Tre 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 Trellis. Trellis. Not too good with the last names or the pronunciations of anything, really. This book I got kind of on a whim because it's French related, and I like France, and it has a pretty cover. Um, I think it has magic in it and something about Marie Antoinette. I don't really know too much about this book, and it was pretty cover. Love Magic Revolution. It sounded cool. For challenge number five, read a book with a non-human main character. I am going with A Dog's Purpose by W. Bruce Cameron. And this is a old classic favorite of mine. This is an adult book, apparently, but I read it in like fourth grade and I was obsessed with it. I forced so many people to read it. I got it at the Scholastic Book Fair. It's well loved, as you can see. I spilled hot chocolate, apparently, all over it. But this is probably a classic favorite of mine. Now, I haven't even seen the Dog's Purpose movie, mainly because I'm afraid, because this is like my childhood favorite book, and I've heard it's really good, but this, I just don't, I don't know. I'll see it eventually. It's about a dog who 
continues to reincarnate and goes through life teaching lessons to humans about life. The next book we have is for challenge number six and that is a title with five or more words. So I'm going with the Astonishing Color of After by Emily XR Pan. This book is about a girl whose mom commits suicide and the girl isn't too sad because she believes that her mom turned into a bird and she goes to Taiwan to meet her maternal grandparents for the first time because she's half white, half Asian. And this is sort of historical fiction, sort of magical fiction, sort of family drama fiction. It's, it's a whole combination of things. This is a library book. Support your local libraries. It also could have been my purple cover one, but I needed a book with five or more words. And the final challenge is to read a book and then watch the movie adaptation. And for this one, I'm reading The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. This is about, this is like a murder mystery type book, and it's about a girl who rides a train every morning and she kind of fantasizes about these people that she sees while on her commute there like she doesn't know them but she sees them every single day and it's fascinating i've read this before and i read it three years ago it was right before i started high school so yeah three years ago i adore this book it is one of my favorites but the reason i'm also rereading this book not just for the reading challenge also another book to movie adaptation that i haven't seen although i heard the movie adaptation of this book is horrible. The other reason I'm doing this is because I run the book club at my school and we as a group decided we wanted to meet over the summer so I was like let's read this because it's great. So we're reading this and our meeting is at the end of this week so I should read it soon. This whole video is a mess but it's fine. You know we're living. <laughs> It's fine, what are you dying about? Now that we've got that TBR out of the way, I'm gonna do the challenge for today, which is to draw a character from a book that you've already read in 30 seconds. So the book that I'm gonna be drawing a character from is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. This is a book I read about 8 million times. It is one of my favorites, it's excellent. Um, huh. I just had the sudden realization that this is gonna be me in a year. The first time I read this book, I was in sixth grade. I was 12, and it was about, it's it's the story of an anxious girl who likes a Harry Potter equivalent called Simon Snow, and she's a fangirl of it, and she goes to college, and it's about her first year of college. And I'm going to college, not this coming year, but like in a year. It'll be the summer before college, because I'm gonna be a senior in the fall. Existential crisis, it's fine. <sighs> Okay, so I'm just gonna flip to a random page now. Um, cat, that's good, I can draw cat. Although I'm afraid of the 30 second time limit because I can't draw anything in 30 seconds, but I can draw cat if I had more time. We're gonna try this out. So, um, here we go. <laughs> Apollo 69. Um, that's kind of a disaster. And that was my second attempt. Um, so, so these are supposed to be glasses, but I, uh, kind of failed. And it's not supposed to be a hat, that was supposed to be your hair. Uh, you know, it's fine. It's whatever. I did the challenge. Challenge complete. Check. You know, we're good. We're fine. We're living. Everything is fine. That's all the time I have for today or I've run out of things to talk about or stress out about. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please leave a like and subscribe and you know, we'll, we'll see if I actually post another video. Probably not, but we're gonna try. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow, I guess. Bye!